Let's see. If my... Hello, She Spark Society. Welcome to Tuesday, January 31st. We are ready to rock and roll and learn so much from our guest speaker today. My name is Beth Shadler, and uh, thanks for joining us. So we are going to welcome a TikTok and Instagram or just TikTok. Yeah. Let's we'll just say TikTok. What's your drug of choice? Okay. So TikTok oh rock star, um, Kim Draculich, <laughs> I did it, otherwise known as Kim Sells Concord on TikTok. And the reason I invited her on is because I have a personal interest in learning about everything that she has to say. And also, um, she's a little bit of a rock star. And I, I think it's been, yeah, you're invited to speak all over the place and people want to know what you know and things like that. Um, so I define that as a rock star. Um, and I have so many questions for you about, um, you know, when you got started and what that path looks like. And um, I'm really looking forward to speaking with you. So welcome. Awesome. I'm, I'm happy to be here. I can talk about TikTok all day, every day, twice on Sunday, ask my family. Um, <laughs> so I'm excited to be here. <laughs> Do they all get involved? Do you have someone like holding the camera for you? I used, I used to. I okay. used to before I was fully invested and got all the ring lights and all that. Um, but we're 16 and 15 and, you know, it's like, mom, geez. <laughs> so Don't do it. So I, I just did a Facebook live kind of telling people how I found you. Cause it wasn't even that long ago. And when I found <laughs> you, I was like, oh, I can't believe she lives so close. She's at two hours away. And we kind of have like a similar style. You of course started a long, long, longer than I did. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I was like, I have to reach out. And so I just picked up the phone and called you and texted you. That was and awesome. I I'm probably seeing yeah. And we had a great conversation too. So yeah, it was wonderful. So if you could, um, just kind of tell us a little bit about your journey with TikTok and mm -hmm. how long you've been doing it and, and kind of what it's looked like so far. So I actually got the app in 2020. Um, but it had nothing to do with real estate, right? Like that was the furthest thing from my mind. As I said, I have teenage daughters going through a pandemic um, and they kept saying, mom, I want TikTok, TikTok. Like everything was just TikTok, TikTok. It's like, what is this all about? So I, I, I downloaded it just to see what it was all about. That was really it. Um, I had fun on it. I used to do just kind of goofy family stuff, you know, again, we were like locked inside our houses. So, you know, it was an outlet for me. Um, but it wasn't until like mid 2021, where I was like, oh, this could actually be really cool for real estate. Cause I started seeing a couple of realtors pop up on my for you page and they were talking about real estate. And I was like, huh. So it's, it's been a good year and a half now that I've, I've totally focused on using TikTok for real estate. Um, even in that year and a half, it's, it's been a journey. Um, and we could, you know, definitely get into that, like what I used to do, what I do now and, and all that, but never in a million years did I think about real estate when I first got the app. It was just for fun. That's incredible. Yeah. So I'm pretty much on there because I should be on social media for real estate. Right. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I now, yes. If, if you're not utilizing, I mean, it puts you in front of so many people. It's ridiculous, you know? And one of the things I do like to talk about, um, are the differences between TikTok and Facebook. Um, I mean, I, I'm 44 years old. So, you know, when TikTok first came about, like, it's like, what? You don't belong on TikTok, you know? I do still love Facebook. Don't get me wrong, I love Facebook. But the main differences from TikTok to Facebook is TikTok videos out there that people are still liking that I did like three months ago. It just doesn't go away. Whereas Facebook, you know, you post something, you don't want to post too many times a day. It's a spammy. TikTok, you, you can do many 
many times a day. I mean, obviously, you know, don't post 20 times a day, but just to give you an idea, three times a day. That's on TikTok. That's what I did. On TikTok. Three yes. times a day. Three times a day. You don't mm -hmm. get burned out making all that content? <laughs> Sometimes, yes, but that's what um, batch videos are for. For example, if I have a day where I'm do, you know, I don't have to be in appointments. Try to make a couple videos and save them in my drafts, and then just post them. You know, when I am kind of burnt out. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It 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 is a lot. Um, but if I can tell you, ladies, this: everything you do all day, a TikTok. Don't think you have to do these trending sounds and relate them to real estate. I, I mean, I do that. I love doing that, but that'll get you burnt out. Trying to think of ways to make a funny trend, a, a real estate TikTok. That'll get you burnt out. Um, for instance, last night I had to do a final walkthrough with buyers and sellers took the medicine cabinet. Sellers took the medicine. Did you see that video, Beth? Okay. That's incredible. That. That's great content. I, I, I took a picture of the hole in the wall and I just sat in my car for seven seconds and said, hey, PSA, uh, medicine cabinet when you're selling your house. So that's the TikTok. So when you think three times a day, holy crap, I can't do that. You can. You can. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. And I've been, um, so there was a long time that I was trying to make a video a day to release and I'd do it in the morning and let it go. And then mm -hmm. I was getting, it was too much for me. And I was yeah. finding, I was uh, a little resentful. I was like, oh, I have to do this thing, which I really know. will come through. It'll come through a little bit. And then I like, and then your creative mind gets blocked and everything and yep. you can't make anything work. Yep. Um, but, and I can make, I'm finding, and I don't know about the rest of you all, but like talking into the camera for me is not even the hard part. I can talk into the camera and tell a story, but the time consuming part is afterwards where you're, where you're writing the text and you're thinking of where I'm going to post in the hashtags and then you're copying and pasting or you're editing. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, that whole process is the time consuming process. It's not even like the fun part. Like the fun part's like coming up with it and making it and recording mm -hmm. it and talking, but then like the editing is just stuff that boggles, that it bogs me down. Uh, yeah, me like, so more. what about the edit, just the texting mm -hmm. control or putting it on other platforms or just. So, and you might, um, yeah, putting, I cross post it. So um, I want to make this applicable for everybody and not just me. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that that is the case. Um, so my personal my personal um, process is I create a, a trending kind of thing on TikTok. I look at TikTok for inspiration. I save the thing. Mm -hmm. I recreate the thing unless I'm telling a story and then I have to do something else, which I don't even know what it is right now. Um, and then I screen record it to get rid of the TikTok label. And then I have to edit that. And then I have to uh, oh. edit, it, edit it again. So maybe I'm missing out on the okay. whole thing. And then okay, I go so, and I repost it on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. So you're hundred percent correct. If you're going to cross post your TikToks, yes, the watermark has to go, especially Instagram, especially Instagram. When I started doing that, it was night and day, um, but I don't do the screen recording thing. There's a website called SnapTick, snaptik.com. And what you do is you copy your video and I don't I'm getting too technical here. I, I don't know, but when you get your video, those three little dots where you can share video or, you know, download your video, all that, you can also copy the link. Go into snap tick and you paste that link, download your video without the watermark. And that's what I do. Okay. I'll look into that. It'll probably save me some time. Um, it will, but the, the editing thing, you know, the text and all that, I mean, sometimes even I get it wrong, honestly, I'm, I'm putting text on my screen and then I go to post it and, you know, one of the letters is too far off to the side or something, you know, I, I don't, it, 
it comes easier. You just got to keep. Um, I think actually, can I ask everybody, like, is everybody on TikTok and is everybody posting on like, are we in the TikTok world? Like, who am I talking to mostly? Does that make sense? Well, it looks like non TikTokers. Are you Facebookers? Who's a Facebooker? Mm, yeah. Instagram. 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 Both <laughs> Instagram and Facebook. Okay. Are you, are you making reels on Facebook? Or are you doing posts? Just posts. Just posts. Okay. So all this is, you know. So this is, okay. So let me, so we'll dial it back a bit. Yeah. So can I assume that we're here because maybe a little kick in the butt to get on TikTok? That would be useful because it's intimidating. Okay. And for it the is. same reasons that you shared before, I'm 44 as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I also feel kind of like out of place. I'm like, even when considering what I like to see and what yeah. I view as beneficial, I'm like, what are y'all doing? But yeah, I get it. Okay. So let me go back a little bit. If you are just getting on TikTok and you really want to see in TikTok, I, a lot of what I hear at first is I don't understand TikTok. All I see are, you know, people dancing around, like you have no interest in it. One of the first things you need to do if you're new to TikTok is let TikTok know who, let TikTok know what you want to see. You want to see real estate content. So, you know, hashtags are huge. Start searching hashtags around real estate, realtor, all that stuff. Start liking other realtors' videos. TikTok will understand who you are and that way your page will start to kind of make sense. Um, one of the main differences of another difference between Facebook and TikTok is the realtor community on TikTok is fantastic. Um, Facebook seems to be very kind of competitive agent to agent. I don't get that vibe, you know, especially in groups and stuff, you know, Facebook business pages, like you don't want to like other realtors' Facebook pages and all this stuff. The community of TikTok in, in real estate is amazing. So you definitely want to start friending, I don't know what you call it on TikTok, following, following other realtors and, and whatnot. Um, so that's always my first and foremost, that's my first bit of advice is to let TikTok know who you are and what you want to see. Um, you hey, all, can, yeah. Can, when we're looking at different platforms to be on, you know, a lot of the podcasts and things like that said we have a really great opportunity when thinking about TikTok hmm. um and I'm not exactly sure why um I'm not exactly sure why and why it's more or less or equally important to Instagram reels mm -hmm. um or what the differences are between those things should we be on both or should we just like pick one and go for it that's a few questions yeah that's a lot um like I said, with Instagram, I was never, I, I can't speak much on Instagram. Do I post my TikToks on Instagram reels? Yes. Um, I don't understand the engagement. I, I, I can't really speak on Instagram, but I do think you need to be, you know, everywhere. Um, but the reason people are really pushing TikTok is that, that, that's where people go now. I mean, back in the day, you went to YouTube to learn how to bake a cake. People go to you, or TikTok now to learn how to bake a cake because um, you don't have to sit through a whole spiel. You know, it's just boom, 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 boom. Um, so we need to be thinking about TikTok as a search engine. Like we need yes. to be making content yes. for what people are searching for in real estate. Yes, yes. I, I, I'm not kidding you. TikTok has kind of shifted their focus to a, a, a search engine. Um, they even have now on, on some of my videos that have done very well, when you see my video, it'll show in the search bar, home buying tips. I didn't put that there. I didn't put TikTok, I guess, figured out that my video is somehow talking about home buyers. So if somebody puts in home buying tips, they might find my video. 
So that wasn't a hashtag that you used or that wasn't nope. in your video? Um, I mean, uh, yes. I mean, it was probably a hashtag that I used. Yes. Okay. Um, TikTok has made it known that they're pretty much coming after YouTube. They want to, instead of people going to YouTube to learn how to do something, they want, um, they want to, that TikTok wants to be YouTube. Now, I also suggest you follow, um, I don't really, they just, there's a lot of TikTok pages now that are totally dedicated to teaching us about TikTok, <laughs> um, about SEO, you know, hashtags and, and all that. And I promise you, if you start scrolling a lot, you'll, you'll wind up um, pages for sure. Are those um, current? I mean, because aren't the algorithms changing all the time? They, and they, they change all the time. time. Yeah, they change all the time. So, so when we watch a YouTube video with somebody telling us how to do TikTok, then if it's from TikTok. Oh, they're on TikTok. They're oh, on TikTok. Oh, yeah, yeah, on TikTok. They're on TikTok. I mean, pay attention to what they say. Um, I'm trying to I really hone in on something here. The reason I love TikTok the most, and one of the questions I get asked often is, how many leads do you get? Um, anytime I have a, a, a video that, that does very, very well, like, well, how many leads did you get off that video? I don't know um, because they're not leads. By the time they reach out to me, they've already decided they wanted to work with me and they're ready. Facebook you know, you post an ad or something and someone like, oh, I'm interested in seeing this house or whatever. Yeah, you got an email address. And then what do you do for the next six months? You have to follow up. You have to follow up. You have to follow up. These people that are coming in through TikTok have already decided they want to work with you and, and they're ready. Each and every client I have gotten through TikTok, they reached out to me and no more than two to three months later were we done, like closed, done because they're not reaching out until they're ready. So who knows how many leads I have because they're not reaching out until they're ready. Um, utilize, utilize location. You know, you can do that, right? Instagram has it, Facebook has it. When TikTok released that, it was a game changer. Always tag your location. Even if I'm not in Concord, I'm like, yeah, I'm in Concord. <laughs> Always, or Cabarrus County. You can do that. And that's, I believe, what is driving most of the people right now or is location. So make sure you lose, you're, you're uh, using your location. Um, if you're good on Instagram, you'll, you'll be fine on TikTok, um, I think. So what percentage of your business comes from TikTok versus Sphere or referrals or something else? So last, so last year, it was 30% directly through TikTok, like directly through TikTok. Um, but quite honestly, most of that came through Facebook, just my Facebook friends. It's definitely because I'm posting my TikToks because half the time the message comes in is, hey, Kim, love your TikToks. I think we're ready to buy a house, da, 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 da. So, but directly through TikTok. And this year, I, I, I want 50% of my business to come directly through TikTok. That's, that's my goal. And do you think that is dependent on how many followers you have? No. How great a content you make? Yes. Or how often I'm in their faces. And my personality. Everybody has their own personality. You're going to, the followers, the likes, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I was excited when I hit 10,000 followers only because I was allowed to make playlists. Um, but other than that, the people that have reached out to me, not all of them follow me. They just happened to see one of my videos one day. Maybe they liked it. And then TikTok was like, oh, okay, is this stuff you like? And I just kept popping up on their For You pages. So not all of them have even followed me they're not even my followers so don't get hung up in that you just you have to be personable um you have to just be yourself 
And it doesn't have to be, you can be informative without being, um, I hate to say the word, but like slow. Like we're in North Carolina. Anytime I talk about our due diligence process, the due diligence fee and due diligence period, those videos always do well because people are like, what the heck is that? Um, but it's not like back in the day YouTube. I don't sit down and say, hey, my name is Kim Draculich, and today I'd like to talk to you about due diligence. That's that's not TikTok. Um, one of them, I was just like, the due diligence beat sucks. Like, that was my video. That's all I did. And it just, people started asking questions about it. That's the cool thing about TikTok. I think is, I think Instagram now you can reply to comments on reels. I just noticed that the other day. But replying, video replying to people's comments, that's the easiest content you can possibly create because they're already engaging with you. So you can do that on TikTok. You can video reply to someone's comment. Yes. Oh gosh, absolutely. Okay. I didn't know that. Okay. So, but let me just bat, let me say real quickly, remember that. So if you start using TikTok for pleasure or, you know, and, and maybe you see something political or something, you know, just remember people can reply, video reply to your comments as well. So just be careful what you're putting out there in the world. Oh, that makes sense. So, but yes, you can, it's, and you'll see it when you want to reply to somebody, you hit reply and there'll be a little camcorder off to the side and you can reply with a video. You've, you've had to, you've seen them. That's when you see the little bubble pop up with a comment. No, <laughs> I just make them. I don't like <laughs> I don't look oh, at it a lot. Oh, I need see, to do the engagement. And that's another thing that we can do. talk about. But but is it okay, Kim, to talk about what you just did with the due diligence? Because when you mm -hmm. went in there forcefully at the very beginning mm -hmm. with a hook to mm -hmm. grab people's attention, yep. um, I think that's important on platforms like TikTok because you only have a split second to grab them and keep split them. Otherwise, they just second. scroll. And so yes. that's been difficult for me is coming up with hook ideas because I don't, my brain doesn't work like that. Right. Um, you have to watch a lot of TikTok for your brain to start working like that. You, you really do. And I, and I think when we talked, I might have said this, but one of the, anytime I, I talk about TikTok, my favorite, my favorite quote is you need to consume in order to create. We're always so used to the saying, you know, you don't have to be perfect to start. You just have to start to be perfect. Yes, but like I said, TikTok is just a whole other beast. And the more I spend more time scrolling than I do posting, hands down, because my mind is always like, what can, what can I use for, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? <laughs> um, it, it kind of gets, it does get overwhelming, but so for you, if you don't know how to do something like that, I would say try to work backwards. If you, we'll, we'll just go with the due diligence fee. Um, you know, you would start maybe by saying, hold up. If the house has fallen down and the seller doesn't want to repair it, I don't get my due diligence back. That it, people be like, what? You know, work backwards. That's, but yes, you are correct. Everything has to be, don't introduce yourself. Nobody cares. By the time you get to your last name, you're gone. <laughs> that person's gone. I promise you. I do it too. And, and you start noticing how you're looking at videos as well. What is catching your eye? And then go back like, what was that? Why did that catch my eye? Consume to create. I'm not saying don't start posting, but I would definitely spend time, you know, going through the app and, and seeing what others are doing. And one of my favorite things about you in particular is that you are just truly, fully, absolutely you. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like you're not I putting on the no ritz. Hard. You're not doing anything else. You're not pretending to be anybody fancy or no. not fancy or anything no. about that. You are just absolutely you, no. which gives us the freedom to be absolutely us, which is actually what people want to work with. And, exactly. you know, and if you like me, you do. And let's hang out. Mm -hmm. If not, that's great. Yeah. 
go it's, hang out with somebody. Else. It's awesome. Like, I mean, think about it. This is probably the first app real. I mean, I guess kind of Instagram, but you, you just boom, just throw yourself out there because what it's doing is it's weeding the people you're not going to want to work with anyway. Like think of past transactions, like they were awful. Well, if they saw you, you might not have clicked and they might have seen you anyway. I'm weeding out people I don't want to work with. Um, every single person that has come to me through TikTok has said, we feel like we already know you. I didn't have to interview. You know, you, you think of TikTok as your interview. You are interviewing every day that you are on that app posting videos. That's how you have to think of it. Um, two of the ones that I, I talked to this week said that they've been following me for almost a year. Almost a year. And they, they're just reaching out now because they're ready. I don't have to, we're not signing anything right away. Like, I mean, it's just, it's the quantity, the people that come to you through TikTok, I promise you is, is awesome. Um, so I do want to mention, Beth, you touched on it about, you know, you have no problems talking, right? You know, talking on video and all that. And that's awesome because we do need to start doing that more. When I first started using TikTok for real estate, I was all about the trending sounds. That's all I did. Like TikTok did not hear my voice for a while um, because that's what TikTok was then, right? That's what it was. It was trending sounds and doing dances. I never, well, I never danced. Nobody wants to see that. Um, but that's all I did. Then I kind of made it like a 90%, 10% thing. Now I'm more of a 75% trending sounds and 25% me just talking. And when you're talking, you're having, a, you're just having a conversation. You're just having it. Most of mine are in my car when I'm waiting for a client or something. They're in my car. And the car is a great place because it has a good lighting. Exactly. exactly. And you have a little phone holder. Yes. Yep. That's what I have. Yep. It's yeah. quiet mm -hmm. for the most part. It's really quiet. I yes. love doing it in my car. Sometimes I will have an idea and then I jump in my car and drive around the block and make it. I've, I've, <laughs> done, that plen I've, I've done that plenty of times because quite honestly, we're, we haven't done it yet, but we, we have a lot of work to do on our house. We bought an older home basically for the land and all that. It's getting too personal. Anyway, I don't have good space. You know, you see these TikTok videos, these beautiful kitchens, and I'm like, suck. One day. Um, so that's another reason I'll go in my car and do it. And it looks more relaxed. You know, it's just like, hey, it's just me. I'm just, you know, chatting. Um, restaurants. You want to see a cool TikTok person? His name is Patrick Russell. He's a realtor in Massachusetts, and he blew up when he started going to sandwich shops in Massachusetts, and now he's known as Boston's realtor because he just ate sandwiches in front of the camera, and I mean ate the sandwich. Like, sometimes there was like, but people now know him as Boston's real estate agent. There's so many th different things you can do on TikTok. It doesn't have So you don't actually have to be known for the real estate part of real estate. You can no. just to, to eat chips or I don't know. I mean, yeah, if you're tagging as long as you're tagging the business if they're on TikTok, I would recommend try to go to places that are on TikTok, but you know, whatever. Tag the location. Um he he really started doing well when he started doing that. And I mean, I he still talks about real estate, but it was those videos that gave him that boost. And now, you know, yeah, he's, he's doing really well. Okay. Uh, Kristen, you have a question? Yes, please. Yes. Oh I had a quick question. So um, you mentioned that you definitely get clients from this and then they're hot and ready to go, but do you ever get um, contact with other agents and maybe referral business from agents outside of your area? Yes. Thank you for bringing that up. Yes. And that goes back to the realtor community on TikTok. I can name probably 30 realtors just off the top of my head and where they are located. And I feel like I know them. I feel like I know them very well. 
Last year, I gave out three referrals and I received one. So though, so I, pay, I got paid three times for just people not in my area that would say, man, I wish you were in my area. I would love to use you as an agent. We're getting ready to buy a house and da-da-da. Oh, please, I know someone just like me in your area. <laughs> So yes, the, oh, the realtor community, I'm telling you, the realtor, yes. So absolutely, absolutely. Good to know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Please more questions. I don't, you know, I, I don't like. <laughs> Anybody else have another question? I could keep going, but I'd love to know. Um, so I, I, I mean, I have one just to like maybe represent the group too. And people who are not necessarily on TikTok, if you were to like, um, just kind of have a recipe of how to get started and to anticipate the time commitment, like what steps they might need to take um, in order to get on the platform and really have it work for them. Maybe one of the worries would be like, is it going to be too much? Can I handle that and business and my mm -hmm. life and my family and my house? Yeah. All the other things that we already are fulfilled are filled up with. Um, yeah, like kind of what to expect and then like first steps would be useful, I would think. Okay, so besides what I mentioned before about getting your For You page looking like it's for you, right? Like following the realtors, following those hashtags, you know, getting all that, consuming content, all of that. Um, I Before you, I would really think about what your niche is. And by niche, I don't mean necessary like my niche is or what I call informing people about real estate in a lighthearted and humorous way that's my thing um but I would I, if you're just getting started I still do three a day I would highly recommend I know that sounds like a lot but try to post three times a day we're all busy but we all usually have a couple hours where you can film. Think about it. Some of these videos that I do are seven seconds long. They're seven seconds. And even after putting in hashtags and descriptions and all that, we're talking 10 minutes, 10 minutes, three videos, that's 30 minutes a day. Um, I don't think it's the, t it's, I don't think time is the issue. I think coming up with what you want to post that, that is more time consuming. That's more time consuming than the actual filming and editing and, and all of that. And honestly, the, the more you're on the app, the easier the ideas will come to you. I'm always going to go back to getting on that app and, and scrolling till you're little heart can't scroll anymore <laughs> that's always yep. my one piece of huge advice so throughout the day you're doing you're doing them as okay you're making them as you're posting them right you're not batch creating anything right sometimes i do okay so here's my thing i love tiktok okay even if i wasn't a real estate agent my person with my personality i would be on tiktok Yes, it's a lead generating thing for me, but I want to continue enjoying TikTok. So I don't have a scheduled calendar. I don't have, you know what I mean? I want it to remain, hold on a second, sorry. I want it to remain fun. <laughs> um, so not much goes into my process, if you will, except I, I really try to post three times a day. And if I do have a down day, I will try to post, set, not post several videos, but make several videos and keep them in my drafts. Those are really the only two things I, I stay consistent with. Times of day, people ask me all the time, what's the best time of day to post? There's, there's not. You'll see website or you'll see people out there saying, oh, 8 a.m. is the best time for to post your TikToks. I've posted them throughout the day. I, I see no correlation whatsoever, whatsoever. Um, so, yeah, I but that's that's my personality, though. You know what I mean? I I don't want it to feel 
like lead generating. If I start feeling like I felt when I used to try to cold call, I'm not going to like TikTok anymore. <laughs> and I want to like TikTok. So I think my videos come across better when I, you know, that that's just me. I'm not going to try and, and make a, a schedule. So, but, but it is important to have a goal. You know, I want to do this. Um, Three times a day, you can post an informative video. You can then post a video with a trending sound, and then you can reply to somebody's comment. That's three videos right there. You can go. Oh, I see. That all counts. Okay. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I started getting even more engagement and more people reaching out to me when I started putting in more of me speaking. Because at the end of the day, I mean, they want to know who, like, oh, Kim, yeah, she's funny. But what else? You know, how does she speak? How does she handle herself when she talks? You know, um, so that's what I, like, I, I just try not to post three videos that are the same a day. Does that make sense? Absolutely. I just met with uh, a mark, a social media marketing person, and his recommendation for me is to make a big list of all the ideas that you could talk about and brainstorm and just have this list that you can draw off of all the time. Yep. Batch create it all, put it in a program, go ahead and write out all the, what's the thing, what's the text underneath it? Because it's not oh, a cap captions or the description. The captions in it. The so description. I never know. description. description. Yeah. Yeah. Write out all the descriptions. Go ahead and get it all scheduled and ready to go. Now, I know I don't think you can schedule TikTok, but then mm -hmm. um, and then just have it slowly release. So you just have to spend a few hours all at once to do it. That is not working for me. Then don't do that. I keep trying to do that. That would, that would never work for me. That would just, I would. I wouldn't be on TikTok if, if I had to do it that way. But again, ladies, if that is more your mindset and personality, like this is a job, I need to sit here and do this. Do I know people that do do that. There's a realtor out in Gaston County, Mondays, nine to 12. He's filming content. That's what he does. And he posts them all week. I just personally, I, I can't do that. Um, I, I have a notebook. I'm still a, I love paper to pen. I have a legal pad that says TikTok ideas. When I'm scrolling on TikTok, if I hear a sound that I like or something just says, oh, I can use this at some point, I save the video or I favorite the video. I should say I hit favorite. And I also like the video too. I'm going to favorite your video. I'm also going to like it. Um, but anyway, and then I go back to it and I just take notes and, and, Sometimes I've had sounds saved in my drafts for weeks because I knew I was going to want it. I knew I was going to use it and I just couldn't think of how. And then poof, one day it comes to me and like, you can't create content between X and X day time, you know, to me, it has to be, I'm not the gal to talk to you about scheduling. I, I don't, I can't operate I, like other, other I, I can't either. Other parts of my business, absolutely 100%. You know, week one is is getting the envelope stuff to mail out, you know, things like that. TikTok, mm -mm. But I think there's a beauty in the spontaneity that comes through when you don't schedule it because certain things will bubble up, like you said. Yeah. And I think you lose that when it's scheduled and you're sitting, because I tried studio stuff, like at our mm -hmm. house. I tried studio stuff with the captions yeah. going across, like Glenda, Glenda or whatever her name is. Glenda you know, Baker. There's a lot of people that do that and they, they, they have zoom in and zoom out and it, and they're wonderful. It did okay. But at the end I was like, that's not me. Yeah. It doesn't really feel like me. And this is an art. This is going to come across that way. It'll come across that way. If it's not you, it will come across that way. I, I did try it. I tried being more polished with my, the talking videos and all that. And um, uh, my raw stuff just, um, is just better. Um, tick, and for those of you who are on, use Instagram, making reels off of Instagram, I, I can't say this 100% because I don't make my reels in Instagram. I make them in TikTok, but from what I've heard, people using both, 
the TikTok editing software is way better in TikTok than Instagram Reels, just FYI. Um, there's so much now you can do in, in TikTok. You used to have to use Splice or CapCut, which I still do sometimes to edit things, but um, TikTok has gotten really good about editing your videos. If you stumble, you know, um, um, mm, uh, you can pinch those out. Think of it as an editing software. They've got green screens you can use. It's so much more than just a silly teenagers dancing around now. It's, it's legit. <laughs> Kirsten, you had a question? Yes, I was looking for, this is so not Google Meets. I was looking for like the little thing where you can virtually raise your hand, but never found it. But anyways, yeah. um, so I love what you said about like just being raw and spontaneous is like the best way for you. And you feel like when you get clients, then they're truly getting the true Kim. They're not getting mm -hmm. your business card, Kim or whatever. You know what I mean? I think that's wonderful. And I really um, connect with that. I especially like for me, when I think about doing any kind of social media and videos, I feel like I a big part of me is my family. Like, do you ever include your kids or your spouses or your, or your spouse or your friends and anything like, and do you feel like that's appropriate when you're doing this mainly for like business? So you can probably ask 10 different people and we're all going to give different answers. I did a panel one time with another agent and we disagreed. Someone asked that exact question and he had his opinion. Mine, I do sprinkle in some family stuff. Not as much as I used to. Cause remember, like I said, when I started TikTok, that's what it was all about. It was 2020, yeah. all this, you know, crazy stuff. Um, but most people on TikTok do know that I have teenage daughters. Um, once in a blue moon, I'll get them in a video of mine, but I do have a playlist called family fun. Um, you know, we go camping a lot. So I personally like sprinkling in some humanity, yeah. uh, but others don't so that's just something it sounds like you would definitely want to do that and I would say go for it just remember with TikTok though like for instance on TikTok no one will know my girl's names because it's very very um public if you will yeah with Facebook you know obviously you know I'll post pictures and I'm like oh Haley did well and Allison da, da, da. TikTok you know I'm not doing names or or anything like that but Yes, I'll, I, I do sprinkle in some um, outside real estate stuff. I would say, though, it's only like 5%, maybe 10%. Did the other guy say not to? The, he, not that he said not to. He just said that he doesn't think he should. He, he just doesn't want to. He didn't want to. Um, and he just, had, you know, had his own reasons because TikTok is, it's, it is very public um yeah. but he he kept he's keeping tiktok strictly for real estate um but i'm just a little more i guess open so you you everybody will give you a different answer i don't think i don't think it messes anything up <laughs> you know what i mean like it's not gonna screw anything up now those videos don't do as well anymore but i don't care i don't care about that you know yeah. <laughs> not everybody loved you know my daughter rafting down a river um but it just it just shows that I'm actually an actual person as well That's yeah all. I think it makes somebody more con like you're easier to connect with I I agree so I'm I'm not gonna tell you not to do that um because I do it I do it on Facebook I do it on Instagram I think, you know, most of my content, it will not Facebook, Facebook, I'm, I'm more personal, you know, I don't post as much business stuff. Um, but Facebook and Instagram, it's probably or TikTok and Instagram, it's probably like 90, 10, 90%, 10%. I want to share um, something that is working for me on when taking TikTok and then bringing it over to Facebook. Mm -hmm. because I'm getting a lot of the inspiration off TikTok of what's popular and, and what's working. And when I bring it to Facebook, those people aren't necessarily on TikTok. And so they are just amazed. Yeah. They're like, oh, that's 
hilarious. But mm -hmm. if they were on TikTok, they would know, oh, well, that's a, a trend that's happening there. Right. So I said very impressive on Facebook. <laughs> um, but but like that's that in in Facebook reels, I will get like 100 views on TikTok. I feel like I'm spinning my wheels on that one. But then I go over to Facebook Reels and I have one that wasn't real estate related, but worked really well when my phone, I thought my phone was vibrating in my pocket. And then I realized I didn't have my phone in my pocket. I had over 200,000 views on that. Wow. Well, and what? I was like, and that's on Facebook. And so yeah. everything that I put on Facebook that has been inspired by TikTok um, has done really, really well like thousands and thousands of views and that's what's going in my speak my I can never say the word sphere sphere, sphere. that's what's going in their face every day um mm -hmm. and then I sprinkle in some family to yeah. seem like a real part, like to seem like I'm still you know on Facebook yeah yeah, yeah. um no, roll and also because I, mean, I like it and so mm -hmm. that has been the recipe that's really worked for me on social media so far um, I still am trying to gain traction on TikTok, but just, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not. Um, and that may change. That may change. It, 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 you know what? Big, and it, one big it, thing. It will change, but you have, you have no idea. You might already have somebody that knows who you are and is like, okay, she's in Nashville. When I'm ready to buy a house, I am definitely reaching out to her. You may already have that. Like I said, it's not. TikTok is definitely not an instant gratification thing. And if it is, I'm sorry, you just got lucky. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a long play. It, it really is. And it eventually does come. Like I, I told my husband, I couldn't believe the past five days, I've had four people reach out to me through TikTok, four in five days. And I already told you how they work. Like they're not reaching out to me until they're ready. And sure enough, well- three out of the four are ready. <laughs> um, so that's pretty amazing. It, that's you, like you never, it comes, I promise you it'll come, but it is, it is a slower game. So it, it is hard because it's so, the numbers are so in your face that it's, it's very easy to get discouraged, right? Like how does that only have a hundred views? Well, think about it. A hundred views, like if you're using location, chances are those hundred people are either in your area or maybe another realtor that may have somebody down the line that needs to move to Asheville, you know? So don't, I wouldn't get caught up um, in the numbers so much. And I need to practice what I preach because some, I mean, I'm speaking on a panel next week next to two other tiktokers that have like a million likes <laughs> and i'm like oh my god so you know that's how, that's how i feel as well with my puny little likes but things <laughs> change for you really quickly i mean you went i don't know what you had before in terms of followers before your viral video and then what you had i mean i know what you have now but that mm -hmm. did that change everything or did that really not make a big difference in your life because it, what did that do for you? It it didn't do anything. Okay. So, um, so, but I'll tell you why though, because that back then there was there weren't very many TikTok experts out there to listen to, like what to do. My thought process was, holy crap, I have this viral video going. I better not post anything else, right? Because you want that video to kept to keep getting seen. So that was my thought process, which was not the way to go. Apparently, if you have a video doing very well, it's called riding the TikTok wave. Like you ride that sucker until they kick you out. You keep posting content. But again, I, I don't know what came of it. Maybe that video is what someone did see that reached out to me a year later. You know, I there's there's really no way to track it. Obviously a good video that does well, all it does is, is make you pat yourself on the back. Honestly, it, it may not change anything. I just, I'm, I'm big on the numbers. Don't, don't get into all that. You keep posting the content, the followers, the likes, they'll, they'll all come. And a lot of your followers will be other realtors and that's okay. Whereas Facebook, like I remember business pages when they were popular, it was a big deal. Like you didn't want to follow 
other realtors or you didn't want realtors liking your page because, you know, if you had a paid ad, like why would you want another realtor to see your stuff? The total opposite of Facebook. Welcome all of, of the realtors. Yeah. We like realtors ourselves yeah. anyway. So what are the most, like, and I'll, I'll let us go pretty soon, but I'm curious the most important things to consider when we're making a TikTok, because there's so many things to consider. Mm -hmm. Like you said, you don't necessarily have to think about the trends, but there's the trends, there's the caption, there's the description, there's the hashtags, there's the talking, there's the music, there's the, like, what do we really, like, if it's too much overall, what is the most important thing we should do? Like the most important thing to consider when composing it, the hook, the, uh, you know, there's a, there's a million things there's, to consider. There, well, there really is. Um, that, I mean, definitely the hook you want, you want people there, right? So that has got, you, you need people to watch the video um, because TikTok knows that. If people scroll after 0 0.2 seconds, your video is not going to go out there. So whatever you're doing, it has, if it's not a trend, if it's you talking, boom, right away, let them know what you're talking about um, and putting in your location. Okay. Also something else we didn't touch up on. Don't be afraid to use the music. When you're doing a talking video, put music in the background. You can turn the music all the way down. You don't even need to hear the music, but a, a, a sound that's getting millions of views, you can put that in the background of your video. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Yeah, you can act, you can add the audio, but then with the controls, you can turn the audio all the way down so you don't actually hear it. I like to keep it a little bit because it adds some. Yeah, so it depends on what sound, what song I'm using. Yeah, but most of the time I'll I'll keep it on a little bit. So definitely do that, but. Um, but I would say the, the hook and putting in your location, those two in talking videos are, are definitely um, two things you have to do and make sure you're being genuine. Don't come across as fake. It's okay to mess up. You know, you never want to sound like you're reading off of a teleprompter. Um <laughs> I think that's important because that's a lot yes. of people feel more confident at the beginning looking at a script, mm -hmm. but it's never going to seem authentic. Just look at a bullet point if you need to like glance at something. Yeah. And I'm curious, captions versus no captions. If we're talking to the camera, mm -hmm. do we want to always include captions? Do they have to be really engaging? Is that important or can we just talk? Always add captions. Even if it's just the TikTok captions, which is fine. You always want to add captions. Um, they've made that pretty clear, which is easy to do. Once you're done with your video, there's just a little button and you hit it. And most of the time they're pretty dead on. As long as you're speaking clearly, they will automatically add the captions for you. Um, there is an app called Captions. It is a paid app though. So if you've seen any of the videos that pop out like really, you know, cool colors and highlighting, yeah. Um, captions is a great app. I don't use it as much on TikTok. I'll use it on Instagram, but you definitely want to use, I mean, because there are plenty of people that are sitting at a doctor's office scrolling through TikTok, but they can't get the volume up or, so, you know, um, de you definitely want captions. So why would you use it on Instagram, but not TikTok? Because then I have to download the, like, because I made it in TikTok. Got it. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm like doing it over again. There's some of them, if you go back in some of my videos, I think I've got a couple of them where I use it. Um, but I don't, I don't think it matters as much on TikTok, as long as you're adding the captions. And if I'm using the captions app for TikTok, I'm still using the TikTok captions too. So now I've got two captions. Always use the TikTok captions. 100%. Oh, that's a good tip. So mm -hmm. always use the TikTok captions yes. over the captions app. One thing about the captions app, if anybody wants to use it for any platform, including Facebook Reels or um, Instagram or whatever, it has this feature, this AI feature. I don't know if you've ever used that or not for the description. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. Yeah. Because yep. especially if you're speaking on a real estate topic, it will summarize that topic from what you've said in the video um, and make it really seem eloquent and put together. And it will also give you a um, uh, topic, whatever that's called. And it will 
put out some hashtags for you that will probably be relevant for your topic. You can go double check that. It will also include a hashtag that says captions app, which you can get rid of if you want. Um, but captions, the app is $9.99 a month. Who uses it? She awesome. just she uses it. Yeah. yeah. I love it. And they have a teleprompter one too. Have you seen that option? You can I haven't seen that option. No. You can type out whatever you're going to say ahead of time and then record it. And it just like you are, I mean, but in this instance, you are reading off of a teleprompter, which I just said, don't sound like you're reading from a teleprompter. So, you're but is it better to like not make a reel because you won't read it or like to make a reel and kind of be reading it? Wait, say that again. Okay. <laughs> like if we're, if you are uncomfortable just speaking without reading it, it's probably mm -hmm. better just to read yeah. something and get going than not do it at all. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Um, but what, and one more thing about the whole being yourself, not reading off of a teleprompter type videos. Remember if you're filming in TikTok, it is very easy to edit out any sort of fumbles or, you know, if you want to just take a breath, you know, say a sentence and then chill, say another sentence, chill. If you've been on the app long enough, you, you notice a lot of the talking videos, they're very cut. Everything's cut. Um, you know, say a couple words and then boom. That's because they're editing it out. They're editing out what they're, you know, when they're not speaking. So I, I would do that over a teleprompter type thing all day. Because um, again, you can just edit out the, the dead space and, and all that. Um, and I don't know if I've mentioned this or I think I did, but it just needs to be said again for TikTok. Don't introduce yourself in the beginning of videos, please. <laughs> That's <laughs> Sorry. Great. That's awesome. that, I mean, seriously, that is a big one. It sounds kind of mean. Um, why do I keep disappearing? It sounds mean, um, but don't do it. And it's unnatural. I mean, because we're all used to being like, hi, I'm yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And here we go. And, and you know, so I think really it's weird. a mentality. Yeah, it's a mentality thing. You want people to just assume they know you already. You know, like, I don't need an introduction. You, like, it's a mentality thing. If you're introducing yourself, that's telling the other person that, you know, they don't know you or whatever. Yeah, it's yeah. a subliminal thing. We're strangers mm -hmm. or, versus we're not strangers. We already yeah. know each other. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Does anybody else have any questions? It's almost four o'clock. I finally pulled this. Uh, um, someone did ask. Amount of time I feel like I have to spend going down the trend, the trending rabbit hole. I've seen people sell trending content lists. Oh gosh, please don't, don't spend money. Please don't. Um, I mean, unless your your time is actually, I have, I haven't bought, but I've gotten free things just to see what people are saying. And, and half of the trends I already knew because I was scrolling through the app. Um, I, I would, you know, I wouldn't spend any money, honestly. Um, I don't know if I read it out loud, but someone asked if, if um, I should buy trending content lists. I, I don't know how they keep up with it because there's just something new every single day. <laughs> um, me personally, I, I wouldn't. Um, I would just take the time to, to be on the app. Does anybody have anything that they're thinking of in their head that is holding them back from getting on social media in general or specifically TikTok or whatever? Is there some, is there something that you're like, it, this maybe time or capabilities or don't know what to do or don't know what to say or anything like that? Lost you. Well, yeah, for me specifically, it is, it, and Kimmy kind of talked on this and, and you said it, Kim, um, was like, you have to be a consumer to be a creator in this space. And I have, I, I don't even have the app on my phone. So I, I definitely see the value add there. And I think it'll be mm -hmm. something that I explore, but I think that's what's held me back before is because like, I don't know it, yeah. you know, not my, whatever the phrase is, not my monkey, not my circus. I just haven't <laughs> gone down that rabbit hole yet. And so I think that I would like to, but I just don't feel knowledgeable enough on the platform to even create anything yeah and that'll just come with being on it although I mean I guess if you're on Instagram and you see reels and Facebook reels those are just TikToks that were out like last year 
it's pretty much what it is. Um, so you do, you do have a feel for it already. Yeah. Okay. That's good to so, know. Yeah. I am on Instagram. I, I've done Instagram reels and I do scroll through those. So that's good mm-hmm. to know. Yeah. I guarantee you. And, and if you follow other realtors, popular realtors, um, using Instagram reels, um, you'll, you'll get a feel you'll, you'll know. Cause it's, it's pretty much the same thing. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, the more imperfect or the more you it is, I think the better it is. Mm-hmm. Because again, we want to be transparent. We want to do what's true to us and show our personality so that we can attract the people that we want to work with anyway. Yeah. My One problem last is thing, I, ha- I have to. That's what it is. Sorry. I was going to say it's consistency. I, I, I know that I can't do it consistently. I just know that's why I don't do it. I you just know. don't. I, I have to take a break from social media just mm. mentally and maybe it would be different on TikTok because you're right I think Facebook and Instagram are probably a more competitive space but like mm. for example my college age son was home December and January and I would work and rush to be done to go spend time with him not to go do content you know so I just don't do it because I know I'm not going to be consistent at it and I feel like then I should just not do it at all Hmm. I get that. I mean, I'm honestly, TikTok is probably the first, the first true thing, lead generating type thing that I have been consistent about in my entire career. You know, we all fall down the rabbit hole, like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this every single month. I'm going to do that. I've been consistent with TikTok. Um, but I mean, if you, if you do want to do it, just don't think of it as creating you know, oh my God, I got to create content. How many times have you gone to show a house and your buyers are running 10 minutes late? How many times are you waiting on them at a closing or, you you know what I mean? So there, that's honestly where half of my stuff comes from when I'm waiting for somebody else. (laughs) That's when I'm, so there, I promise you there, I mean, I'm not pushing, but there, there is time. You're just not thinking of it the right way, you know? That's great. Yeah. Thank you. Cause that's perspective. Mm-hmm. Cause you're right. It's true. I'm always waiting on someone. <laughs> I'm always waiting on someone. And like I right. said, and like, and Beth said, the car is the best place sometimes to film a really, you know, quick, quick video. Um, let me please, I, I can't let anybody go without me saying this and Beth, I don't know if you've come across it yet. There are a lot of people in TikTok land that do not like our industry. Um, they think we are used car salesmen. Um, it's 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 pretty ugly sometimes. And a lot of agents will just delete comments and block them, right? Like I don't need negativity. Um, I embrace them. I don't know if Beth has come across one of my playlists with Miami guy. Um, so I would just be careful of what you post. It seems the, the videos, and maybe this is outside, uh, maybe I should, this is kind of stepping on a high horse because this is just my personal opinion, but the type of videos where, you know, we're saying things like, it's a great time to buy, or you should buy a house and da, da, da. You might get some backlash for that. I, I stay away from that just because that's just me, you know, if someone wants to buy a house, cool, let's go, you know, I'm not gonna, but I, I feel the need to say that, and and there's someone out there, they have a page literally just dedicated to bashing real estate agents, um, so, I, you know, just, I feel like I'd have to mention that, <laughs> and a lot of realtors embrace it, though, they're like, oh my god, I finally made it on TikTok, I got my first troll comment, like, it's almost a a badge to you know what's that phrase passage someone help me it's a passage yeah it's a just a rite of passage rite of passage thank you rite of passage thank you yeah so i think i had one once i I just want to mention that quickly because you know it is a very public app and anybody can comment on your stuff you know so just be careful yeah i embrace this (laughs) <laughs> I'd probably cry a little bit. Um, okay. Is there anything else? This has been awesome, Kim. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much for all your insight. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. I had a great time.
You yeah, super find, helpful. Thank you, Kim. And I'm find her, find her out there and follow her so you can keep up and see what she does. She's a hoot. And, yes. um, and I make sure her. you hold, make sure you have somewhere that you are a realtor. So I follow you back. I don't, you know, if you're a realtor, you need to tell people you're a realtor. Does like, that need to be in our name? Like Beth Shadler Realtor? Um, the, oh, well, I guess we never really got into that. Um, it's, it's a preference. I have, okay. my, but yeah, that's, that's kind of, that that's a whole other it's a whole other ball game. Okay. We'll talk whole, about the next yeah. Time. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See you later. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, ladies. Bye. Bye.